Hey guys, this is Anthony, and today I want to talk about the complete lack of driver support that Dell offers for the M11X R2, um, and uh, what I did to kind of speed things up. And this is also a fix for anybody trying to play Just Cause 2 with their M11X. Um, I'm going to thank Kapicha off of NotebookReview.com, who posted this solution. Uh, there's a big discussion on the website, which I will, I'll have a link on my blog that will be linked to this video, uh, on to wh where you can read a lot of that stuff. I will say, um, not only does it fix Just Cause 2, but it also increases overall performance by 40%. The computer runs 100% better. Uh, I mean, it's completely ridiculous. So. Uh, here's the MLX R2. We're just going to run Just Cause so you can see from Steam that it does work. Um, this is after doing the solution that I'm going to post with this video as well as the blog post that I'm going to do with uh, alongside the video. And I'm just going to run it and we're going to do a quick benchmark. Uh, Square Enix. La, 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 la. I wish I could skip this but you can't. Um, I did call Dell and I chewed out their engineers. It turns out Dell didn't hasn't upgraded their drivers for uh, at least uh, almost seven months since last May, and they're not keeping up with Nvidia's driver updates. I mean, the way it's supposed to work, Nvidia's supposed to do a driver release, and then since Dell won't allow us Alienware people install stuff straight from Nvidia, we have to use the Dell website. They need to incorporate those updates, but they're not. They're taking forever. So I'm going to do a benchmark here. Gonna do Desert Sunrise. Ooh, that's uh, awesome. So we're gonna wait for this to load, and you're just gonna see this is performance. Um, I'll even pull the plug out so you can see what it's doing on battery here. Okay, this is on battery. So uh, just to let you know, drivers are making this run a lot smoother than it was running on the Dell drivers. Dell really needs to pick up the slack. Uh, like I said, I started to say before, I called them and chewed them out. I got tech support, and then I got forwarded to actually an engineer, a junior engineer at Alienware, who's who's responsible for the driver testing. And hopefully, we should see some driver updates soon that might prevent us Alienware users from having to deal with, you know, workarounds in the future. So. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Along with this video, again, I'm going to be posting the um, the step-by-step -step guide provided by NotebookReview.com. Uh, it involves you uninstalling the NVIDIA drivers you currently have installed, restarting in safe mode, running a driver cleaner, which is going to clean your computer doing another reboot, and then installing the uh, NVIDIA off the NVIDIA manufacturer site drivers. During that installation it's going to fail. It's going to say that your computer is not compatible. You're going to hit OK and then you're going to copy a modified INF file into the installation folder that is created um, and then you're going to run the install again. When you do this it's going to say this is not compatible and you're going to hit continue anyway. Once you do that it's going to restart again and you're going to have the updated drivers and this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing before I end this video. So let me close out of here. All right. This one lets, lets you see my driver details. I'm going to go to properties. And I'm not sure if you can see how blurry this motherfucker is, but that is a 7 slash 9 2010. I know it probably looks blurry to you. Uh, on the, if you are just using the normal Dell website at this point, your driver date will say May 7th, 2010, um, which would not be correct. Uh, which would actually be correct, but it's not the latest drivers that are out. So uh, use the guide, continue on your way, explore, and have a much faster working machine in the end. Alright, hope this shit was helpful.